Ah, oh, it's a really big thing! Hi guys and welcome to a card review with a competitive EDH focus for Yashan in Placeable Earth. It's a 4 mana cost, green, white and 2 generic elemental boar legendary creature and it's a 4-4 four, four. and it has 2 different abilities. When this thing enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic forest card and a basic plains card, reveal those cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. The secondary ability, players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activate abilities. This means, and I'm fairly certain of it, but don't take my complete word for it, maybe you should ask a judge to get the text actually separated completely. Players can't pay life to activate abilities. That means that they can't sacrifice wooded foothills to actually search for a basic land. However, they would be able to sacrifice Fable Passage because Fable Passage doesn't require that you pay life and Fable Passage is a land so you are allowed to sacrifice it. This means that if I have understood the card correctly, this is helping you hate on multicolored decks that are playing a lot of fetch lands in a similar way to how Blood Moon and Back to Basics are functioning. And it would be pretty much on theme with its first ability, finding two basic lands. But fetch lands aren't really the main target. Lion's Eye Diamond and Doxad Extortionist are actually completely shut down by this huge monster. When you're going over the cards, this boar is actually going to affect that our CEDH cards we play, CEDH staples that is. You can actually see that it's going to affect the format and have an impact as a stacks creature for sure. And that is important, you don't want your stacks to be very narrow. You want them to spread out and affect a lot of different variations of cards. So sure, Dockside Extortionist is a huge and impactful card, it's something the metagame of CDH is defined around currently, you could say. And this boar is shutting down that pirate goblin, that is great, but it's also hurting necropotence and other things as well. It is not shutting down Sylvan Library. Sylvan Library is a triggered ability, while Necropotence is an activated ability, by the way. It might actually look a little bit far-fetched, but it is actually affecting the Underworld Breach, because the combo inside Underworld Breach requires that you're sacrificing Lion's Eye Diamond, and this boar is making that impossible, or actually illegal. So now that we have concluded that this elemental boar has an ability that is actually functional and is going to do things inside the CDH format. Obviously, this should see a lot of play, right? Actually, I don't think it's gonna. The reasoning might sound a little bit strange, but it's actually rather simple. What deck is actually going to play this thing? You see the text right there? It reads players, not opponents. If they had opponents, it would be a no-brainer. A lot of decks could easily include this thing. For a deck to actually include this very beautiful card, because I actually think the art is amazing, you would basically have to play a deck that doesn't run the color identity of red. Because if you're running the color identity of red, you want to have Dockside Extortionist inside that deck. That means that Kenrith would probably never pick this up and Frasis partnered up with Bruce would probably also never pick this up because they want to play Dockside Extortionists. This is now coming from a hardcore Cisse player. Dockside Extortionist is one of the best cards for Cisse. That Goblin Pirate is a one card combo for us, which is making it possible for us to punch out wins if we have enough enchantment and artifacts my, amongst our opponents as early as turn 3 or maybe turn 4. And this beautiful boar is completely shutting our plan A down. It's like putting a Graf Digger's cage inside Kess or Elsha. Also, 4 mana is actually quite expensive. It's not usually something we're tutoring for with Cisse. Usually, we're interacting with Cisse with CMC2 and CMC3 legendaries. However, I'm a crazy person, I might actually try this. There are actually games where our opponents aren't putting enough artifacts and enchantments into play that are gonna make it possible for us to win the game with Dockside Extortionist and then we have to utilize our other combos inside Cisse and they are all going around this boar actually. And when you're playing a stacks deck you can actually have a few 
cards in your deck that are being shut down by some stacks card you have. For example, our plan A Dockside will be shut down by this really big boar. And stacks decks are really good at taking it slow, making sure the game goes a little bit longer, and then you can develop another combo game plan instead of the dock side. I mean, you could draw the boar, and you never really draw the, the dock side, then you draw tutor, and you use the tutor to find another version of your CSA combo. That is a little bit slower, but will still do the job through the boar, while the boar is protecting you from your opponent's dock sides, underworld bridge, lines of diamonds, and necropotence. But there is another commander pair that I actually think could run this very beautiful thing. That's Thrasius and Tumna. Tumna is a triggered ability, it's not an activated ability, so she actually goes through this boar. You are allowed to pay life to draw cards with Tumna, even though you have this big beast in play. And Tumna actually enjoys hate bears. She's using these hate bears to attack your opponents and then draw cards with them. So this boar could actually fit inside these two commander pair. However, the four mana cost is really expensive and usually you go for dark confidant and odd nauseum stuff with these commanders. So I'm skeptic if they're actually going to play the boar anyway. I think they have other options, but if you're playing some form of TNT hate bear deck, which is something more of a little bit expensive on the CMC cost, and you want to go for that smashing with creatures and a little bit beatdown style, this is a potential option. And this is perfect, because TNT aren't allowed to play Dockside. However, there are a few other combos that the boar could actually shut down. The so-called Lion's Eye Diamond Ariok Salvager Bomberman combo is not going to work. And your Rasakef Reanimator strategy won't work either, because you aren't allowed to activate Rasakef to begin with. But you can still go for the Fast Oracle Consultation combo. Otherwise, I think the Revi would definitely enjoy this new creature. You could actually also play this thing inside Nayala the Blade Blossom because her combos don't require you to sacrifice or pay life in any form of way. However, I would be really surprised if someone actually put this inside their Nigella build because Nigella is something of a tempo control the build that wanna win fast. And when you wanna win fast, you're going for the turbo stuff, you're going for low mana, a lot of tutors, a lot of sheep interaction, and you're not really playing stacks. When you're playing really expensive stacks cards, you're delaying the game and making the game go longer, and Nigella thrives at going fast and winning fast. So I don't think these two are gonna be happily with each other. Now what about playing with this boar as your commander? I wouldn't recommend it. This doesn't have any form of card draw on it. Okay, it has an ETB, give you two cards to your hand, but those are basic lands, so I wouldn't consider it as a functional card draw. It's shrinking your deck, so you're gonna the risk of drawing lands is gonna shrink, but nah, come on. And it doesn't have a combo on it either. It's basically just a really big, stompy hate bear. And that is good, but as a commander, you usually wanna have a little bit more. Also, you would be stuck on green and white only, and you wanna have a little bit more color identities if your commander doesn't have a combo or card on it, because now you have to win within the color identity of green and white only. And that's just clunky. One more thing I want to talk about is the 4-4 body. This is actually a really big beast. Most hate bears are actually small and tiny. However, this boar is huge. If you're sending this to war, attacking someone, there ain't that many creatures that can actually block it inside the CDH format. This is actually pretty big stats for a typical creature in CDH. And Tumna really likes creatures she can send into combat. So in the end, I think TNT are the ones that's gonna enjoy this the most. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you wanna support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.